are you? Hope you're doing great. I'm super happy for this video because it's a video that I've been wanting to do for the past months. And it's basically just to show you my body transformation over the years that I've been raw vegan and vegan. So I'll start off in 2012, the year before I went raw vegan. And as you can see, I was very bloated everywhere. The first two weeks that I ate 100% raw vegan, I lost like 10 pounds. And this was obviously water weight because I stopped drinking, I stopped eating processed foods and animal protein. So that's what instantly happened. Starting 2013, I it was my first year that I was 100% raw vegan. And during this time, I began to just feel tons of energy eating raw foods. So I began to exercise more, I began to run, which is something that I had never done before. I basically just began to be more active. So before going vegan, I used to always try to like keep a stable healthy weight but I noticed that I had to really restrict my calories a lot and my portion sizes were super small once I switched my my diet to a raw vegan diet I just I was losing so much weight and eating an abundance of food I can eat vegan and I can eat this much and I can feel sat satisfied satiated lose weight and keep a stable healthy weight so 2013 I was 100% raw vegan then at the beginning of 2014 the first month I did my 25 day water fast and I have a video on that actually I wouldn't recommend anyone to do a water fast by themselves this is something that you definitely want to do with uh, supervision and you have to qualify for it it's just a lot of things it's something just serious my body definitely changed after that like it was just like a reset for my body I did probably lose like 15 to 20 pounds and what happens when you do a water weight I mean you gain a lot of that weight back but my body was still like super super lean and especially because I started to run I got really into running. I was running almost every single day. I was training for half marathons. And what happens to your body when you run a lot is that it just becomes like very thin, very lean. But then after a half marathon, I got a hip injury and I couldn't run for four months. After that, I kind of decided that I didn't want to put my body through that. So when I stopped running, my body changed. I started to fill up a bit more. By 2016, which was when I started to eat cooked food, so many of you guys have asked me if I noticed anything in my body when eating cooked food. I didn't really notice that I like gained weight with eating cooked food. It was towards the end of 2016 when I decided that I wanted to just gain like more muscle mass. So to gain more muscle mass, I started to eat more legumes, more grains and even some protein shakes and obviously lift more weights, lift heavily. So for the first like four or five months, I was kind of like, what's going on with my body? I wasn't really seeing any difference. I was the same and I was eating differently. This is when I learned that our bodies really take time to react. If you do a change, your body's gonna take time to adapt. And every single body is different. And it's not until like two months ago that I've actually seen difference in my muscle mass. I've seen that I've grown muscle mass. I've seen my legs bigger, my stomach like leaner and just everything more defined. And it's really cool to see how you can utilize food to have an effect on your physical body. Of course, you have to work out, you have to exercise. So if you wanna get more muscle mass, it's possible on a plant-based diet. I mean, I, I do have like a little muscle, like it's not huge, but I do feel it and I feel stronger and I like that. So that's basically like how my body has transformed over the years. So if you're just starting off on this lifestyle, you're starting to exercise or you're just starting a healthier diet, be patient because change takes time. And so now I'm lifting like three times a week. I'm not doing that much cardio. I walk a lot. I run, but not that often and not that like long of a distance. And right now I actually feel like in a very very balanced way because I'm eating raw foods and an equal amount of cooked foods. And I think that we're all evolving all the time, mentally and emotionally and spiritually, getting very in tune with my body to know what it needs at a certain time and moment. And also to know that I am not my body and to love it and to cherish it and to be grateful for it. I personally sometimes like, like looking in the mirror and being like, I feel like healthy, you know, I'm working out, I'm eating healthy, but my emotional state and my mental state and my spiritual 
spiritual state is like down the drain, I'm not gonna feel good. It's like a body, mind, and spirit. It's uh, being in harmony with all of those facets and really learning to love ourselves during that process. Yes, I entered this lifestyle because of health reasons, because I started to feel amazing. But then I learned about the environmental aspect and the, helping the planet and the animals. And it just clicked, you know? I said, like, I need to do this. If I can change one little thing, which is what I eat, and I don't have to sacrifice the taste for it, like, why not do it? And I'm gonna get, like, so many benefits, and I'm gonna be able to give something back to the world instead of, like, taking something from it, just like my sister said the other day. So if you're trying out this lifestyle, if you wanna try it, don't be afraid, experiment, be patient with yourself, and enjoy the process, because the journey is the best part. So I would love to know what has been your transition during this process of adopting a healthier lifestyle or a vegan diet. And also if you guys wanna get one of these t-shirts, these are my t-shirts, they're the Ravana new t-shirts. You can get them at ravana.com and I will leave the link below for that as well, okay? Mwah. Besos, love, light, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye.